Okay, I call this double swirl. It's really a swirl, but you're, instead of trying to come back right on top of it, you're going to actually come to a point and come back around and then close that off. And then come to a point, come back around, close it off. Come to a point, come back around and close it off. This has an advantage that you can do this very large. So this could be an all over on a quilt very large. It would be nice to uh, add softening on something that's very angular. Um, it's just a very nice, simple little pattern. All right here's double spiral and matching thread. Again, this is nice because you don't really have to backtrack on anything. You're going to make spiral in, come to a point, spiral back out, not touching, not trying to go back over until you close it off. Then come back out, spiral in, come to a point, spiral back out until you close it off. Now here I'm going to sneak through here and come over and do another one here. Spiral in, spiral back out. This makes a nice loose filler. You could do a small one if you want. Size really doesn't matter here. So you have the opportunity to do it small or large. This could be done really large over a whole quilt if you wanted to do an all over pattern and do quick quilting. This works up very quickly. So it's nice uh, rounded pattern and it works very quick.